Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we will be talking about how to make your water heater a lot safer by changing this into a dual pole switch. So, um, you know, I'll walk you through step by step how to take out the, uh, the switch and how I'm going to be putting in a dual pole switch instead of, of this. Before we get into the video, do leave me a like, share and subscribe and let's jump straight in. Okay, so generally I will uh, advise you guys to turn off the main uh, CB but in this case, I know that it's P8 so I'm just going to push down P8 and I'll make sure that the power is out uh, where the switch is. And before you do anything, you want to test make sure that there's no current that's flowing through this power socket. So you put the test pen into the corner and just give it a lift off the main body. So there you go, that's out. So with these kind of uh, water heaters, you do not want to have a socket because a socket only controls the life and it cuts the life off. The neutral is still connected and what happens is if your neutral is energized or there's a short somewhere, you're going to get current flowing into your um, water heater and if anyone were to touch it, you know, if water heater is faulty, if your RCCB is faulty, they may very well end up hurting themselves. So the best thing to do is to change this into a dual pole switch. And what this is, this switch actually breaks the contact of your life and your neutral. So if there's any fault in the circuit, your water heater is totally isolated from the house. Get, go, moving on, um, here we have the, uh, the switch and I'm going to start removing all the wires. So I'm testing it. Okay. There's no power, testing this, and this, there's no power. Um, when you're doing this, try your best not to get the wires crossed because that would cause your circuit breaker to trip. So what I like to do is come in with some uh, wire caps and cap off, you know, like the neutral ones. There we go cap off the live ones. I mean the grounds usually have no power running through them so you know, I'm happy to just leave them as they, as they are. But you can go and cap them off if you like. Now so the plan is I'm gonna be pulling this wire across and putting it into this dual pole switch over there. So this thing is gonna be sitting up there and then we're gonna have the dual pole switch over it. I'm planning for the wire to run along the bottom there so uh, I'm going to be cutting a notch uh, since I'm going to align it and what you need is just a lighter and what you're going to do is you're going to heat up the inside of the PVC and that will soften so you, oh, you heat up the inside of the PVC and that will soften the plastic and then you can come in with the shears and just cut it off like that. Really simple. There you go. Yeah. So that's where all the wires are supposed to go. Don't have to worry, all these things will be hidden once uh, the trunking pulls up. Oh, look. Ooh, that actually fits really nicely. That's what she said. And that's not going on the video. <laughs> okay, so with trunking, uh, I know a lot of you may be uh, struggling with trunking. So, very easy, you don't need a saw, you just use a pair of shears and all you need to do is mark out how long you want the, your thing to be and just cut, see you snip here, you snip there, give it a bend, snip. So I've got something like that, and that's where my wire is going to run. Just need to cut it to size, keep trimming, you know, uh, these things cost a couple of bucks a piece so don't have to worry about wastage. If you do it wrong, you know, you can always uh, go back to the store and buy another one. Just peel that off and stick it right there, making sure it's parallel to the line. Okay, and uh, if you want to do a 45 degree, let me show you how it's done. Grab a small piece, measure roughly 
where you want it to be. Keep that one over there. Okay. So this angle here. So here one. Okay. Right below it, you cut another one. Okay. So over there. Bend and cut it off. Okay. So we've got that. Now you want to cut along the top. So you cut along the top like that. There we go. Cut along the top. And then cut an angle. So there you got an angle. And that would sit right there. Okay, so this is your water heater wire and these are the wires that go to the house. You want to put in the uh, water heater wire into the bottom two poles. The top one is where your house lines run through. These two black wires are for the LED. So one go into either side of the, the bottom ones. Okay, um, I'm going to start putting the neutral in because that's closest to the corner live followed by the LED okay and we'll leave the ground for the top later okay. and then I'm coming in with the neutral wires and both of them go to the top connection and the live Then we'll go ahead and connect all the ground wires together. Okay, there you go. All the wires are wired up nicely. Now we're just putting the switch back together again. All right, and that, my friends, is how you change a socket uh, for a water heater into a dual pole switch. This is much safer, and I hope you guys, you know, um, if you're not sure, please get an electrician to do it for you. But water heaters should not be run off a three-pin plug. Uh, it's not safe. So, um, yeah, hope you like that tip. Like, share, and subscribe. Everything I use is in the description down below. Now, I'm going to try something new. Leave a comment on what you feel is the best kind of water heaters. Personally, I like gas water heaters, but there's tank, there's instant, there's multi-point, there's, I don't know, wood-fired water heaters, whatever. Yeah, leave a comment on which one you think is the best. And like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.